In this tutorial, I will create a program that will ask the user for the hour in a 24-hour clock and convert it to the hour in a 12-hour clock, as well as indicating whether it is AM or PM. To begin, you can go under Events and select the When the Green Flag is Clicked block. Under Data, we're going to be making three variables. We're going to make a variable called AM or PM, a variable for the 12-hour clock time, which we will be calculating, and finally, a variable for the 24-hour clock time, which we will get from the user. We're going to initialize our variables now. So because we don't have anything from the user yet, we will set our 24-hour clock time to 0, our 12-hour clock time to 0 as well, and finally, our AM or PM variable. We're going to start it out as AM, so that will be our default. You can see I've already changed the, the backdrop, so you can go to New Backdrop to do that under here. And as well, you can add a new sprite from the library. So you just select this little sprite's head, and you can delete the, the previous sprite, which is the cat default. So now that we have our variables initialized, that is, we've given them a value, we can go ahead and ask the user for some information. So we're going to ask them, So I've asked them what is the hour on the 24 hour clock. And I've dragged the answer block over. So I selected the ask block from the sensing area. And now I'm going to go ahead and select data. And we will set the 24 hour clock time equal to the user answer. So we now have stored the user answer into this variable. We can do our calculations now, um, but first we need to determine if the 24 hour is actually greater than 12. So under control, we're going to use the if else block. Now we can go to operators and we're going to select the greater than symbol and we're going to go back to data and stick in the 24 hour clock time variable. And we're going to check to see if it's greater than 12. And if it is, we need to go ahead and do some calculations. So under, in this section, so if the number is greater than 12, we can set the 12 hour clock time to, we need to go, so that was under variables, or under data. Now we're going to go to the operator and use the subtraction operator, back to data, take the 24 hour clock time and subtract 12. And also you're going to need to change the value of your AM or PM variable since it starts out as AM, but because the hour is greater than 12, we know for sure it's in the evening and we will indicate that it is now PM. If the number is less than, or 12 or less, then we need to just keep it the same. So what you can do is under data, go to set the 12 hour clock time to the current 24 hour clock time. And we don't need to change the AM or PM variable to AM because we started it out as AM. The only time you need to change it is if it actually is going to be an evening time. We can now output this information to the user. So under looks, I'm going to do the, or should select the say block and I'm going to change it to five seconds so it appears longer. We also need to go under operators and select some join blocks. Join, the join blocks are just um, a way to concatenate, which means to bring strings or variables together. So I'm going to say the time on the 12 hour clock is, actually I'm gonna say hour because we're not actually indicating the minutes as well. So the hour on the 12 hour clock is, and I've left a space in here just so that the number does not go right up against that colon. 
And under data, you can select the 12 hour time and you also want to throw in the AM or PM. So it'll tell you whether it's morning or evening. Let's try running our program now. So what is the hour or on the 24 hour clock? Let's pretend it's 13 and that should change it to 1 p.m. So the hour on the 12 hour clock is indeed 1 p.m. Let's run our program again. Notice when we run it again, the 12 hour and the 24 hours change back to zero and the a.m. or p.m. changes back to a.m. So let's do something that's in the morning. Let's choose four o'clock. Press enter. The hour on the 12 hour clock is 4 a.m. I would suggest that you try a number of different uh, values for that and also add some extensions to your program. Good luck with that.